Okay, how's it going guys? Connor is here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Reborn. Last episode, we uh, had to kick all of Fern and his gang's ass because they tried to stop us from coming to the gym. But now we're here. We pretty much fought everybody, so now we just gotta answer some questions to get to Florina. Alright. True or false? Field effects can be destroyed or transformed by certain attacks. True. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight questions to answer. I'm guessing they're all not going to be true or false. How many Pokemon can learn the attack Lava Plume by level up? Okay, so... All about Starmie? No. We have to find a book about Lava Plume. What level does Cubchoo evolve? 30... I... Oh my god! I was trying to say 38, I didn't know it was 37. Jesus. True or false? Field effects can have special characteristics made drastic alter battle? True. What is Corsola's base stat total? Okay, so Corsola's base stat. Lava Plume. Let's try to read the others. Rains can infect and increase or change the power accuracy? True. Huntail. Oh, the Starmie learned Rapid Spin. Okay. So, oh, Starmie one was over here. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, level one. Rapid Spin is level one. Okay. So we need Huntail... Corsola and Lava Plume. So we have to look for books about those. Okay. Okay, so that was not about Corsola. Start at the bottom floor. Wait, did he say anything? No. Okay, look for books. Calculating total power. Oh, here we go. 300. Bagon, Baltoy, Beldum, Bellsprout, Bronzor, Krogunk, Dino. Oh, God damn it. Why are the rest of the pages torn out? Shit. Oh, here we go. Hunt Tail. 367. Okay. So Hunt Tail's number in the Pokedex is 367. Okay. We need Lava Plume and Corsula base stat total. Here we go, Lava Plume. Fifteen Pokemon can learn Lava Plume. Got it, got it, got it. There we go, now we just need Corsola. Let me read this one down here real quick again, just to make sure we didn't see Corsola. Okay, there's no Corsola. Alright, so those, I don't know where those pages are. Somebody ripped them out. All about Beartick. Ninjask. Can't read these. C A C B B D. True. Beat up attack, no. Toad kiss. Hunch crow, no. Personal diary of Titania, sure. So 
They think it's cool to read other people's diaries. Help me find some dirt on me or maybe some weeping emotional confession. Okay. First was out of Maria. Okay. Did I read this? Oh, on fairy tales. Nope. Lorinia. Okay, I really don't care about any of this. Farewell. And Julia. Okay. I see nothing on Corsola. Why are there no pages on Corsola? I did read the books. I didn't see anything on Corsola. Oh, there's more in here. Dustclops, no. Corsola, here we go. Where's your base stat? 410 base stat. Alright. Would have been better if it was 420, but whatever. 410. There we go, we've answered all of them. So now let's go see if we can go challenge Florina. Florinia. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so I'm guessing she's gonna have like ground grass types. Soundwave's fine against ground because he's flying. Todd can handle some ground types if they're there. Mm. All right. We have nothing in our bag to help us. Mm, what do these do? These pads protect the holder from effects causing by making direct contact with the target. Ooh, okay, so we won't get hit by like a like poison point or effect spore, right? Is that what that means? I should probably go buy some more healing items before I actually take on the gym. We only have seven potions on us. I think more would be great. Is there even a Pokemart in here? There is not even a Pokemart in this area. I don't think I've ever went in here. Huh. We need to go buy some shit. Devon Corp. Alright, give me some potions, because apparently that's all I can fucking buy from you. Alright. We have 20 potions. Let's go see if we can challenge Florinia. Oh, I'm really noivous. Really noivous. How are our Pokemon? We have 23, 21. Maybe we should lower Todd 1. Eh, he's fine. We're not, we shouldn't use him much. And if we do need to use him, I'd rather him be at the highest level he can possibly be at. Okay, well, we have to take out five Pokemon in battle. The sixth one, all we have to do is... Perish song it. Okay. Save. Let's give it a go. See if we can take it on our first try. Welcome, Mark. Your assistance in meteor related affairs is appreciated. However, that alone fails to merit the appropriation of a badge. In order to determine eligibility for badge ownership, further testing is required. Do not mistake the impartial application of these tests as unthankfulness. It is simply procedure. According accordingly, let us begin. Audience, please take note on standard battling procedure. Demonstration will commence. Hypothesis, subject possesses insufficient data for a conclusive result. In other words, I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> Expected outcome failure. Damn. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Okay, here we go. Versus Florinia, the second gym leader of the Reborn League. Maractus. I just go straight for air cutter, dude. Let's just start tearing down these grass types. 
That's all we gotta do is just start tearing him down. Maractus out. I'm guessing he was just there to lay out the spikes, though. Uh, Pharisee. That's steel. Grass steel. Ah, uh, that is not something I can came prepared for. I mean, I guess we can... It's, we're weak to steel, so we gotta Parish Song and get out. I'm gonna try Parish Song and it. We gotta Parish Song and get out. Yeah, just hit it and leave. Just gotta hit it and leave. Wait, sand tomb. Is that ground or rock? I don't know what's if which one sand tomb is. Gonna have to bite it. Oh, we got it to flinch. Nice. Okay, it's gonna die this turn anyways. Doesn't matter. Parish Song's down to one. Alright, goodbye, Pharisee. You've just been perished. Two down. Bray Loom. Grass Fighting. That's four times a week to Air Cutter. Just hit him with Air Cutter. You fucking dick. He put me to sleep, dude. What the fuck, Bray Loom? That is a lot for not very effective. Jesus. Not very effective, my ass, dude. What the fuck is the point of it not being very effective? You're just gonna fucking do 20 damage with a mock punch. How much does it do exactly? 20 exactly. Okay, we're gonna have to try something else. Let's go to Creeper, just so we can heal up Soundwave. Here, let me, uh... I can't poison it. I was going to say, let me try poisoning it. It's not going to work. At least Creeper can tank out mock punches if we need to. Yeah. Yeah, he can tank out some mock punches. What if I... Huh. Let me try disabling Mach Punch real quick. What, are the, what, what else is he going to try to do if we disable Mach Punch? Let's switch into Soundwave because he might have some grass attacks. Yeah, he has Mega Drain. Okay. Yeah, we. I'd rather him Mega Drain me than Mach Punch me. Alright, let's wake up now, Soundwave. Let's wake up, buddy. This guy is four times weak to air cutter. Can we just can we just wake up, please? He is four times weak to air cutter. Thank you. Let's get this kid out of here. All right. Strats are working right now. Cottony. Your grass foe. Your grass fairy. Okay, gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Hey, protected. E. Oh, shit. Okay, it's neutral because we're grass. That's good. Oh, yeah, you're done. Four times weak to fucking acid. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done. You're done, kid. We're gonna eat that. We gotta, we gotta crit and we still ate it up. Alright, two Pokemon left. Next up is Cacnea. We're fine. It's pure grass. Oh, we're fine. Last Mon. What's her ace? Her ace is Cradilly, and that is why we use Parish Song. I sh actually, I should have known that it was Cradilly, because she used it at the, uh, when we were fighting Team Meteor. Conclusion forthcoming. Just get off the Parish Song. Just get off, you fuck! Jigglypuff! Jiggly? Ah, shit. Now this is a problem. This has turned into a problem. Okay, let's.
let's paralyze it. God damn it, Jiggly. Just hit the Thunder Wave. Get it paralyzed. Okay, Rock is going to be a problem when it comes to Sound Wave. So I'm thinking we go to Creeper. Oh, this is a problem, dude. I wasn't expecting Jiggly to get one hit. Okay, we can go to Todd and maybe hit it with a Mud Bomb. I'm thinking we hit it with Mud Bomb to lower its accuracy. I fucking missed. Okay. Stockpile is going to be a problem because its defenses are rising. Okay, just we need to just drop its accuracy as much as we can. And my the first Mud Bomb didn't even drop its accuracy, so that's already fucking great. Can we get an accuracy drop, please? We're not getting a drop, but we're at least lowering it. Should we growl? Smackdown's physical, right? So Smackdown's physical. Let's growl at it a bit. We're not going to get hit by the sandstorm. We're fine. Let's growl. Let's lower its attack as much as we can. It's stockpiling, which is fucking terrifying. Its defenses are rising. I don't think this thing knows throw up. Or swallow. It might know swallow. But I don't think it knows throw up. It's gonna lower its attack. This thing knows recover. That is annoying. This thing knows recover, stockpile, sandstorm, smackdown. So it's only attacking move is smackdown. So let's just lower it as much as we can. Actually, we're Todd can actually handle this. Hopefully. This thing doesn't know a grass type attack, so it's not going to hurt Todd. All it has is Smackdown. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. Does Water Gun do anything? No, the desert softened the attack. Okay. That was a crit. Look at that. That was a crit. We are doing no damage. Do we have a revive? Let me see if I have a revive. Should I use this cotton candy? It'll make things a lot easier if we just use this cotton candy to revive Jigglypuff. Because without it, I just don't see what we're going to do. We could go to Soundwave and Screech drop its, to drop its attack. We either do that or we go to Creeper and Nasty Plot. And we also can try Disabling Recover. I think that's going to have to be the strat. So I, I, this, cotton candies are expensive, so I don't want to use it if I don't have to. I lowered its attack all the way and still doing 8 damage a hit. Fuck. Okay. It's nasty plot. Three nasty plots should be max, because it's raising by two stages. Okay, let's heal real quick. One more nasty flan, we should be maxed out with special attack. I don't know how much PP Smackdown has, but once that's gone, that'll really, that'll really be great. Because then we won't have to worry about taking hits. Okay, let's see how much the confusion does on max special. Not a lot. This thing's all. I don't think it's max special defense, but special defense has raised at least three. We can get it conf we get it confused. Okay, it's confused. It's confused and paralyzed at the same damn time. It still hit a smackdown. That's wonderful. I wanted to dis I want to disable recover if we ever get a chance to. 
Again, we could probably just end this right now by using that cotton candy, but I really don't want to. If we have to do it, we'll do it, but I don't want to do it. Pretty sure we can't poison it because it's grass type. You can't poison a grass type. There's the recover. Now, does this work the way I think it works? If we disable right now... Okay, yeah, recover is now disabled. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to go to sound wave, and I want to screech it to drop its defense. And then we'll just try air cuttering. Actually, no, what am I doing? Screech, that lowers defense, regular defense. Air cutter does nothing, dude. Okay, it looks like it's run out of moves. Uh, let's just screech it then. Just drop its defense as low as we can, then we'll just hit land some physical attacks. <laughs> Probably should have just did this earlier. Send its defense to the shitter. Send its defense to the shitter. Send his defense to the shitter. Okay, its defense is in the shitter. Alright, who has good special or physical defense or physical attack? 25, 45. Much shot physical? No. No physical attacks. God damn it. This thing has spark, but that's not very effective. Jigglypuff is dead. No, though my only physical attack is bite. Okay, let's see how much a bite does. It's neutral. That is good damage. You know what? I'll take that. So now we just bite away. Hope we get some flint. Okay, recover is going to be a bit annoying. But hopefully we get some flinches. You know, throw in some peril paralysis. We should be fine. I gotta heal soon. Two more, and I think we should be fine. Just don't use recover here, and we got this. Don't use recover. You used recover. I said don't, Cradilly. What part of don't use recover don't you understand? Okay, Sandstorm does three a hit. Come on. Don't use recover. You fucking dick. God damn it, Cradilly. All my hard work. And you used it again. How much PP? Please tell me Recover has like 5 PP. Please. I can't deal with this. I'm going to run out of bites before this happens. Okay. It only takes 4 hits. Okay, Sandstorm just subsided. He's probably going to go for it again. Yes, he did. He flinched. Nice. Okay. This is our moment. Don't use recover. You fuck. Why? Three times. Three times I had him one shot. And he uses... He, he's able to land the recover. Three times I had him one shot. And he lands the recover, dude. God damn it. Come on! Okay, you just, that, I'm, I'm actually glad he used it that time. Just waste the PP. Just waste it. Okay. This is it. Don't use recover. Don't. Thank you! Ah, oh, yes. Fuck, we did it. Mmm. Didn't even have to use the cotton candy. There we go. Very well. Challenger remains due to receive remains due to receive canopy badge. Canopy badge occurs.
proper behavior among Pokemon up to level 35, so you get a 10 level boost now. Additionally, ask for customer, accept this TM. TM 96 nature power. I was hoping for something better. Varies based on the terrain and field effects in which it is used. To use it effectively, one must exercise proper knowledge and understanding. A staple of an effective trainer. Use it wisely. Where do you intend to go now? If you do not have other intentions, I have one final request for you. Because of my status as leader and faculty at this school, I cannot stray far from it right now. However, there is still a crisis in this city. As you no doubt know, the Jasper and Barrel Wards have been ransacked by the same machinations as Obsidia. However, whereas we caught Obsidia in a budding state, we were not so fortunate with those wards. Being that you alone have had the successful experience of terminating the previous active project, I ask you venture to the Jasper Ward. Discover if there is not a similar plot behind the destruction there. If you will, what, Aquis? Aquis something? I have created another application that may be of service to you. Pulse Dex. This will install to your Pokegear and will read data output from the Pulse Machine we encountered before. I've already entered the data obtained regarding the Tang growth you engaged, but any further subjects must be added separately. It may be possible to find data printouts for each machine in an area near their application, so remain watchful. I will make preparations for you to passage to Jasper. I might wish you good luck, however, luck is merely an illusionary essentialization of statistics and is neither inherently good nor bad. Regardless, farewell. Alright, so there we go, guys. We have successfully obtained our second gym badge. I feel good about that. So, anyways, yeah. So we're done here, and I guess our next objective is to head off to the Jasper Ward. I don't know where that's at, but I'll find it for you guys off screen, and we'll go ahead and go there next time. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spin Con Artist. I will see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Reborn. Thanks for watching again, and uh, yeah, peace out.